one model in Canada wants to change the way the industry is defining beauty, Ellie Mayday. But I remember like going through the newspaper and like looking for my photo and not finding it right away and then like, and all of a sudden seeing like, there I am. You will never get hired by anyone. You're five foot three, full figured, and you have tattoos. That's like the, the triple eh. So I was mentioned by Plus Model Magazine as one of uh, models that they'd like to see modeling for H&M. Hi Ellie, my name is Jacqueline Sarka and I'm one of the founders of JAG Models in New York City. Yeah, they pretty much just offered me the best contract I could have hoped for. If by me saying I'm a plus size model is going to help affect other people in the world, I'm a plus size model. The word plus size is always moving around on the scale. Really, what does it do other than make people very conscious of their size? You know, size 4 to 24 in plus size and then basically size 2 and 0. An exclusion term, it's not like an inclusive term. Curvy or thick or these words. People shouldn't be fit into to boxes and into labels. It doesn't really mean anything. Plus what? Weightism is pretty much the, the last acceptable version of discrimination. They literally divide you up based on your size um, when you go shopping. You know, there's no problem with having a skinny model in an ad or in a magazine, but when it's 95% of the time or 99% of the time, then there is something wrong. Everything you've ever looked at since you were a little girl is not you. A photo or a spread of a plus model comes out, people are freaking out, and it's a big deal, and it shouldn't be, because we should be used to it. Bottom line, it's a business. And guess what we're buying? We're buying the Caucasian skinny girl. People made me feel like, terrible about having a bigger body, but a really pretty face. I was bullied severely throughout secondary school and high school, and three of the boys that were some of the bullies sexually assaulted me and making comments like how if they were done with me, I wouldn't be fat anymore. And so this is what it's come down to, that I was diagnosed with cancer at 25. Yeah, everything stopped. Um, yeah, everything's been put on hold. The same day that I that I had the port surgery, it was the same day I found out that I could be going to uh, New York. It's given me such a healthy body image to meet plus size models. I like that I have cheeks, I like that I have full lips, and I like that I have hips, and I like that I have a waist and a chest. It's important to love your body because you have to live in it. It should be your world, it should be your temple, it should be loved and respected and dressed glamorously. <laughs>